Hi, I'm Travis, an application engineer at Maxim Integrated. In this video, I'll show you how to get started with the Max 30001 EVSYS to measure bioimpedance, or BioZ for short. Bioimpedance can be used to measure things like respiration or galvanic skin response, but the register settings can be a bit tricky to set up, so I'll show you a starting point to get good measurements. To get started, you'll need a PC, the evaluation system with the included ECG leads and micro USB cable, and some wet electrodes like these 3M red dots. The first thing we'll need to do is download the evaluation system software from the Max 30001 Design Resources page. To download this, you'll need to agree to the license agreement and click download. Extract the zip folder and run the executable file to install the program. Next, we need to connect the hardware and configure it for two lead measurement. For two lead measurement, we'll use the BIP and BIN ports on the board with the DRVP and DRVN ports connected via the onboard jumpers. Next to these ports, you'll see a cluster of jumpers and you'll need to remove the RP and RN jumpers to disconnect the 100 ohm test impedance. I'll place the jumpers on one of the pins for safekeeping and leave the rest of the jumpers in their default configuration. Next, take the three included ECG leads and connect the red to BIP, white to BIN, and black to BB. Take the other ends and connect them to the ECG electrodes placed across your chest, like in this diagram. Lastly, connect the micro USB cable to the microcontroller on board and to your PC. Open the GUI and head to the BIOS -E channel tab, which visually sets the control registers. Bypass the analog high pass filter, set the channel gain to 20, and bypass the digital low pass filter. Set the current generator frequency to 8 kHz, the magnitude to 8 microamps, the mode to chops with resistive common mode, and finally check the BIOS -E box at the bottom of the page. Next, open the BIOS -E MUX tab which controls the internal signal connections. Set the switches to connected, the lead bias to the BIOS -E channel, the resistive bias value to 200 mega ohms, and the positive and negative input biases to connected. Open the plots tab, click options, and check the BIOS -E milli ohm scale, and then click start monitor. Once the plot settles and scales, you can see my bioimpedance in real time. You can actually see my heart rate due to blood perfusion, which causes small changes in impedance. If I take some deep breaths, you can see a larger change in impedance due to the filling of my thoracic cavity with air. And there you have it. Now remember, this is just a starting point to get your BIOS -E measurements and from here you can modify settings to match your application. If you still need to get your hands on the evaluation system, you can order one from the Max 30001 ordering page. That's it for this video. See you next time.